topic that I would like to make people more aware about in this presentation is domestic violence, because even the ones we trust the most can be capable of inflicting pain. So why is it important to be informed? Well, it's important to be informed because one in four women and one in nine men experience severe intimate partner physical violence, intimate partner contact sexual violence, and intimate partner stalking. And this is straight from a government website. It's also critical to learn the different signs and giveaways of someone who may be experiencing domestic abuse or who may be acting as the abuser in a relationship. Domestic violence is something that people often think only happens in the privacy of one's home, so that's why it's also important to know the signs, so that way you can identify it in public, because it may not be as obvious in a public situation. So, awareness. There are many different outlets for people experiencing domestic violence abuse, but I would say that the most... Um, helpful one is definitely the domestic violence hotline, um, which is 1-800-799-SAFE. Um, and you can also go to the website and they have a free texting chat device. Um, it's all confidential. It helps identify abuse if someone is confused on if they're experiencing it. It can be a good outlet for people who know someone being abused but don't know what to do. And it can also just be a good helping hand to make someone feel supported. So it's also really important to be aware of strange behaviors, such as someone's partners isolating them. Isolation is something that's very common in domestic violence. And lastly, the Catholic view on domestic violence. Even though it may seem that the Bible usually is telling women to um, be faithful to their husbands and do what their husbands tell them, the Catholic view of domestic violence is actually that it is a great sin because nobody should be it says, violence against women inside or outside the home is never justified. Violence in any form, physical, sexual, psychological, or verbal, is sinful. Often, it is a crime as well. And that is from an um, excerpt from When I Called for Help, which came out in 2002. And so overall, domestic violence is just something that we can all work together to help each other feel supported and to see the signs in public and to not let it go unnoticed and unjustified.